we see Kevin Durant in takeover mode, right? Look at the symbol. What the fuck changed. was that? Somebody tell me what is that. Somebody tell me what the fuck is that. What's good, y'all? DMD Dustin here today. I'm getting straight into this video. I want to talk about this takeover system. It's not a bad, just a system. So the way this takeover system is going to work, it's going to work like a grand badge. But I just found out when you click R3, you could you could activate it whenever you have it. Like, I guess you're going to see when you can be able to activate it. I don't like that. I'd rather you just tell me I'm hot and then let me go off. I don't want to hit the tap R3, then I'm hot. I don't like that bullshit. Let me heat up naturally. So, the way it's going to be, how Slash is Imperial Athletics, we had our grand badge. We just contact over everybody, anything. The defensive archetype, it didn't matter. With sharps and stretches, you know, they was greening from half court and all this and that. Shot creators, post scores was hitting all type of fades. Lockdowns was getting easy steals, snag blocks, and whatever. So, something new for the finishing archetypes, we're going to have park contact animations you know like the one the contact dunks with the 360 spider-man be hanging upside down on the rim i only got that damn animation one time on my center so whenever i'm in takeover i hope i get it so for the for the shooters so i'm guessing like with the takeover you're gonna have some different green animations and the player would do some like, like some cocky type shit you know all confident like yeah nigga i did that shit so for the shot careers, they're gonna have boost to their difficult shot, you know, spin jumpers, hot jumpers and all that. And they could snag snag ankles off a step back jumper. That's different. That's something like NBA Live when everybody was abusing it. But I ain't get too much into live, but I know I've been seeing some people do some snatch back jumpers and they call the ankle. Post scores got a lot of love this year. I might be making a post score a little key. Like just being able, I, I hope I wonder if post scores going to have green animations. You know, hit the post fade, and then you like do a little animation. That that'd be cool. And you already know the playmakers. They're going to be snagging ankles left and right. Lockdowns and rim protectors. While they in takeover, they're going to be getting snag animations. <laughs> now see, I'm I'm cocky. I don't see a lockdown or a rim protector on fire, and my dude won't be even on fire. And I'll still go for it, but see 2K19, you, huh, I'ma try it, but like, probably 9 out of 10, somebody might smack my shit or, or snag block me, and then I'ma learn my lesson after that, I ain't even gonna lie on it, but I hope some of them protect us, you know how, how we get on um, block out of bounce animations, hopefully they get their own animations when they get a block out of bounds i would like to see that so i i say a lot about pure athletics because when i make a pure athletic i make sure my pure athletic could do just as much as a regular slasher can do with all the contact dunks. so my question is mike wong be yeah it's wong wong not wang it's wong so he been saying all this stuff about slasher this, slasher that. So what about the pure athletics? No, well, not just the pure athletic, but athletics. Athletic finishes. So, I mean, I'm talking about the big men. You know, what they going to get? If 2K going to give all these archetypes love, give each archetype love. And I mean by, like, for the point guards, the shooting guards, the small forwards, the power forwards, the centers. Give each archetype love. You know, like centers and, all right, for example, slashes and pure athletics. Let the pure athletics be able to do something that the slashes can't do. Let the slashes be able to do something that the pure athletics can't do. We already know a lot of slashes can't block a, a contact, though, right? They'll just spam squad. Let's be real. Centers could, pure athletics could smack that shit. But let us have something unique for every position of an archetype that'll be a, a complete separate and make everybody want to make a, a different type of position of a certain archetype 
in his first full season in the league. Oh my god, I voted for so right here is a look of this person being in takeover mode. Now it looked like it got some kind of ticker on how long it will be. Because I see it slowly going up into running out. That shot for you. Kevin Durant. I think he has the most ways to get a good shot out. And if you watch it and you know what I'm about to comment on in this clip, comment down below. That just shows how much you was paying attention to this trailer. Just like me. So... We see Kevin Durant in takeover mode, right? Look at the symbol. The Somebody tell me what is that? Somebody tell me what the fuck is that? Davis last night had 48 points and 28, 22 yes. rebounds. Yes. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else in the league, you'd have a heart attack. And oh, crams it out of the air. Seeing these icons change actually blows my mind because I'm guessing this is how a dual archetype over 94 overall well 94 or over 94 overall would be because mike wong said the takeover system will help your secondary archetype at 94 overall down to Takumba. nobody there's nobody one of the most unbelievable draft picks in the history of the league oh and here we go on the cool so it's the same thing for Giannis. He have the wing, then it switch over to a lock. So that's for lockdown. So I'm pretty sure once we get into the prelude, we're going to be able to test out a lot of stuff. But y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to remember, don't stop, keep grinding. And I'm out.